Hello everyone, this is King Kong LT. This video I will show you how to integrate this H32B relay controller to the Open Hub, this software platform. We can see this is some lamps I have connected with the relay output. And we will use MQTT integrate to the Open Hub. And now you can see the white LD is blink. That means it, uh, it's not work with the MQTT block server. So we will tell you how to do this step by step. Let's begin. Uh, this is Open Hub. We have installed on the Raspberry Pi. The how to install, you can see the Open Hub website. And this is Open Pen for Raspberry Pi. It's just very easy to install. You can make image file download from the website and uh, write to the SD card and will easily to install. Uh, after installed, uh, we will see this website. Uh, the install progress I have not recorded. Uh, you can see the video, uh, you can see the online installation guide, uh, not difficult. So now I will tell you how to integrate the MQTT. The first step you need to install uh, the most cute on the Raspberry Pi uh, for the Open Hub. So we can see, we can launch by uh, this party. We can open the party and install the Moscow Brook. And this is IP, Raspberry Pi IP. Uh, we can see this is our IP. And the part is 22, and we can close, open. And now we can lodge by open hub. And the username uh, is this, uh, open heavy. And the password is C, open hub. OK, this is the welcome information of open hub. And then we can just uh, input this command, sudo open having config. We need to config the MQTT book. And the password also is open having. Uh, this is the password. OK, now you can see the screen. Uh, we just continue. Uh, skip, I'm um, not uh, update, uh, just a skip. And this you, can, you will see some options. We can choose optional components. Press. And uh, you can see this 23 is most cute. Uh, we can install this MQTT block. And we can enter. And uh, continue uh, to enter. And now, I uh, just tell you the default username and the password will be open heavy. We we'll just press OK. Now we will start setup. Uh, setup will very quickly, is successfully, so we can press OK and excite. And press OK. So now the code have installed on our Raspberry Pi. Now we can close this window. Close it. And now we can refresh. Uh, open you this IP and the part on your local network. Uh, this is our new website uh, just uh, after installing the Open Hub. And we can click on setting. There are many functions. OK, the first step we need to go to this blind because we need to install the MQTT. So we can press the plus and we input, search the MQTT block. You can see this MQTT block. Click and install online. OK, now it's installed. Now you can see this MQTT block connection is displayed. And uh, because the last time I have already uh, have configured the file, so that is remembered my IP. So I can just change to IP the true IP for the Raspberry Pi. And the block name, like MQTT, 
and the block password, I, I can input the one, two, three just for demo, so it's easy to remember. Because this is the website of the relay, relay controller, uh, we have connected the MQTT server at this this IP. This is Raspberry Pi, and this is a port. And also this is MQTT name and MQTT password. So this is we can work mode for the MQTT by the Ethernet. Now you can see the wide LED is not blink. Uh, it works fine. It have connected with the Raspberry Pi MQTT block successfully. So the white LED will always on. And we can click the save. And click the things uh, you need to create the MQTT block. And uh, choose this one. And MQTT block. And uh, this is ID. You can import MQTT. Not changed. And this is IP. And this not need to change. Just create thing. Okay, you can see this is online. So the book is online. Uh, I have to forget. You can input the MQTT username and the password. That is a thing as you set in the relay controller. And see. And back. And now we can create, we're ready to create the MQTT relay. We just uh, click plus and this time we, cho we choose this uh, the MKTT themes because we need to create the relay one so we can create relay one and the label also can create relay one and uh, the bridge you can choose the MQTT block and uh, show advantage. Uh, this not need to import, just create thing. And you can click uh, this relay one. This relay one is online. And now we can click the channels because we have 32 channels. Now we add the first channel, add the channel. Channel name, relay one. Relay one because this is on off switch, so I can click this type. And uh, this is uh, important. This is uh, we need to tell the open hub uh, which relay is on and off, what command. So we can like this state topic. Just copy this. This is our topic. Uh, this is thirty two fixed, and this is the UID. This UID you can see, uh, this UID, just copy this one. And this is a state uh, fix. So you need only to change the UID for your own controller. So I can copy and uh, paste. And this is command. This command for turn on off relay. So also just this is set and this is state. And this is a UID, so also I can copy this to the MQTT command topic. And this is a customer for on value and for off value, because our uh, command, if you want to really on, just use this stream, and also you can copy and paste, and this is off. Just a copy and off. Uh, this command, this command you can visit our Kinkoni official website. Have list the command. 
So this is the create uh, the command state and the and the command we can click create. Now you can see as a little one, and we can click and add to link item. Click this item. And we can create a new item. A name I cannot change. You can change by yourself. And this is a type. Type is a switch. And this catalog. Catalog. I can also input switch. What switch? I just uh, choose the icon. And this is class. Also, I can change to switch. Okay. Now you can click the link. Okay, you can see generate the button. We can click, uh, you can press turn on. You can see the relay one is on, and uh, this is turn off. Okay, this you can create the first relay for on and off. And now you can also add to add, click the channel and create the another channel, channel uh, relay two. So you can just click this add channel. And also just do like last time. Uh, this is relay two. Relay two. And uh, on off switch. And this is a topic. State. Uh, this you need to change relay two. And relay to off. Relay to off. Okay, create. Now you can see relay to and add to item. Create a new item. Relay to switch. Git lock. Or switch. switch and the link okay you can see the relay 2 is generates you can also turn on relay 2 as you say relay 2 so I can also add the relay 3 and relay 4 I can configure it add to channel relay 3 This is list three, create and click add to item and type switch or switch and this is switch link. Okay, you can see relay. You can also click model. Uh, you can see we have created the three relay, so you can. Add this relay uh, for until 32, and the relay will list all this this window. So you can like this, click turn on relay 1, turn on relay 2, and turn on relay 3. So this is how to integrate the H32B relay controller to OpenHub by MQTT. Thanks for watching.